Okay, so one sec. Still can't find my tripod, so we're just gonna do the best we can with what we got. So I like cream of wheat and farina. I think they're the same thing, just different brands. And I wanted to make this um, the way my mom sometimes makes it. And it's a little bit different than a lot of people make it, so I thought it'd be cool to show. So right here I have some cream of wheat, water, coconut milk. Um it's not like a, it's not coconut cream, so it's not sweetened. Sweetened condensed milk, salt, and butter. So this is about three and a half cups of um, coconut milk. I'm sorry, three and a half, about three and a half cups of water, a little bit less. It's about 13.5 ounces of coconut milk. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour them in the, actually I'm going to pour this one first. Pour it in this pit. Oh, this is pretty good. I thought I'd have to scrape it. I didn't. Um, and we're going to pour water. We're not going to pour the whole thing. We're going to pour about, um, <clears throat> two and a half cups of the water. I like to put my pinch of salt in early because that's who I am. So about a pinch of salt. That'll probably be about a quarter of a teaspoon if you were measuring it out. Putting the fire on medium. Actually, I'll put on medium. I want it on medium high so it comes up quicker. Um, and then what we'll do is as it's cooking, we're going to add the sweetened condensed milk till it's sweet. Um, that's one option. The other option, because we're also going to use a cup. We're just going to use a cup of the cream of wheat. I just want to measure it out yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to, um, you can either add it before or after. Adding it before for me is just going to be easier. It will be less work to get through. But yeah, once this heats up, we're going to add the sweetened condensed milk till it's sweet to us. Then we're going to add the cream of wheat, cook it. It should be pretty quick. And then we'll add the butter at the end. And then I'll show you how I like to eat it all together. You can't see, we have one vigorous boil. That's actually hard to boil down. So I'm actually going to turn this to medium while we add our um one second let me just lift this up real quick it's a really good trick if your pan is boiling a lot lifting it up can help you can see it's still boiling quite a bit so here's what we're gonna do i'm adding about half this can because i like my farina or my cream of wheat sweet And that's also like the fat and the cream from the um, coconut milk, so don't worry about it. And then we put it on medium, so another thing not to worry about. I know what the instructions say. I have the box, as you saw a second ago, so please don't anyone in the comments say, well, the box says, the box says a lot of things. I don't like mine the way the man on the box eat his, you know? So, here we go. It's on medium now. Not going to bring it back up to the boil. It's fine because it was just on the boil. Going to sprinkle in. And the reason I'm doing this with one hand is because, like I said, I don't have my tripod. Otherwise, I'd have both hands on it. I'm just going to stir. Uh, like I said, if it gets too thick, that's why we have this extra cup of water. Um, you could have also measured the... Uh, Oh, what's his name? Just make sure you start to get the lumps out. You could have also measure the sweetened condensed milk, but believe me when I say I know what half a can looks like. Because some will go back in and settle down, so to make it a little less than half a can as you're pouring, a little more than half a can as you're pouring it out, once it comes back down to the sides, it'll definitely be half a can. Anyway, we're going to stir until this gets thick. If it gets too thick um, to a place I don't like, I will add the water. If not, then I will add the butter. And I will see you soon. I hope you can hear all the noises. Believe it or not, it's been about a minute, maybe a little less. Uh, I'm going to stir it still again. I was stirring it constantly, which is why I turned the camera off now. It's a little bit more occasional because it's actually not, um, well, one, the pan's not stick. But also, the lumps are all out. That's the important part. That's why you add it in gradually. So once I turned the camera off, I just started whisking a lot of the bottom where I knew it was clumping up. But... This consistency, I can tell from the way the bubbles are popping, is really thick, so it's still leaving a little imprint in the areas where the bubbles come from. 
and I like that consistency so I'm going to turn it off um, it'll shrink it'll you know get a little thicker um, and I do that just in case I have in case I have to add the sweet milk or you know if it's too thick I'll add a little more water it doesn't matter it's still really hot then we have our butter over there which I'll add to my individual bowl um, as it goes and then I'll show you once this is cool enough to eat how I like to eat mine so the fires went off for a few minutes I tasted it it, it to me funny enough I don't like sweets that much but when I like cream of wheat I like my cream of wheat sweet I like it with butter so I added a little bit more um, I added the rest of the can of the sweetened condensed milk um, so I'll put that in the when I write the recipe down don't worry and we're gonna taste it again it's cooled off um, when I once I started stirring it it started to get rid like the heat from the bottom of the pan came up so let's taste that mmm mmm it's really good it kind of reminds me of porridge back home um, that we eat from different like Caribbean restaurants mostly Jamaican restaurants specifically but um, you know it's funny you can actually kind of do a cheat of the cornmeal porridge if you just put the spices in it to so, like whole allspice cinnamon there's probably some other ones but those are the ones I'm most familiar with because those will be whole in the porridge are like whole spices it's really amazing I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon. I don't think I have allspice. I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon and see one of them. So I'm back. I just added some uh, clove, like the tiniest hint of clove, and some cinnamon. I, I probably need the cinnamon, but it was really good. It does actually remind me of the porridge because of the coconut milk. Um, so next time I make this, I will add the whole allspice and all the other stuff to make it taste just like porridge back home. And I won't have to worry about um stirring cornmeal because that is that's treacherous <laughs> so this is really great I hope you try this I'm gonna add my little pad of butter because I'm actually eating this portion here and I will see you all in the next video